Uh. <clears throat> oh. Didn't mean to... Uh, thought I had like one more room or one more thing to go down before I got to here. Oh, I guess we'll just continue the story and do that at the quest later. Uh, no matter uh, when we come here, this place is always so uh, tranquil. Hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go uh, ask someone else to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio's home okay. Let's stomp on all the vegetables! <laughs> See anything else here? Oh, that's cool. My oh, fresh eggs. <laughs> There's the chickens. I can't believe I got uh, fresh eggs out of that actually. <laughs> Get back here, you. Oh, we get to go inside the greenhouse. That's kind of neat. Whoa. Whoa. This fence. So thin. You can't even tell it's there. What are you doing? What are you doing, boy? It's Joshua. Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid I'm here today, or I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if you can't play. Uh, uh, maybe later if there's time. Kids here really like you, Joshua. Oh, Joshua, Estelle. Hi, Chair. Uh, how have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. He goes outside if you want to talk to her, though. The, uh... Is that you? Oh, yeah. uh, I need to enter through here. <laughs> see. Hi, Tio. Been a while, hasn't it? Oh, Estelle. And Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Or, whoops. Did you guys come for a visit? Uh, not really. We're here on Bracer business. You heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. So and Joshua explained that they're here to do their father's work because he's away. Oh, you finished all your training. That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case for the past several days now. Thanks to, uh, thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night? You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine you should be back delivering the milk and vegetables anytime now. Go raid their house. Ah, there's a little teddy bear up there. Oh, <laughs> I actually did stumble upon the cutscene. See, good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Perzel. How's everyone getting on these days? Oh, wow. If it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We actually, uh, we were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. The hands over the guild referral explains that they're taking over for their father while he's away. Is that so? Er, whoops. Is that so? Uh, don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. I don't sweat it, we're bracers after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task, so if you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, all right then. Go ahead and er, go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Perzel. Uh, now, could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? 
I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night in radar fields, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. I tried many times to catch it, capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover at night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Uh, how about taking a load off until then? You swear it wasn't you, Skylack? <laughs> what are you hiding? Uh, I'll assume you'll be joining us for dinner, right? Oh, you said the magic word! You bet I will! I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mr. Purzel, I can't wait! Huh, you sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of her time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. <gasps> Food! And also, please tell me this technically counts as a rest so I, I can have all my EP back. Oh no, did I spend any? No, I don't think I spent any, right? Oh, that was delicious! Your mom's cooking is as good as ever to you. Huh, that's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I just feel really bad for Joshua, though. The little one's jumping all over him like that. Uh, <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, uh, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'd be blown away by the f uh, fact that children enjoy uh, playing with such a stick in the mud. That's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? Or don't you think? He's definitely courteous and maybe even tad reserved, but if you really get to know him, he's uh, re he's really a caring young man. And the fact that he's not self-conscious about it too gives him points in my book. You really think so? Think about it, with those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, lush black hair... It's only natural he'd be a target for all the young girls. <gasps> Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumor has it uh, that more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I hear he turned them all down, though. I had no idea. Uh, Joshua never said a word to me about it, but I don't even know how I should begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this. But how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I would, I would imagine it'd be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. The fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Uh, Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Oh, alright, I'm coming. I'll be back after Joshua uh, and I get the job done, Tia. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, alright. Be careful out there, Estelle. Ah, <sighs> that girl. She's either completely out of touch with uh, the matters of the heart or just plain dense. Poor Joshua. He really has his work cut out for him. Seems though the monsters always show up about this time. We better get outside and take a look around. Hmm. What's going on, Estelle? I gotta ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about. Oh, wait. He's gonna misunderstand this because Joshua talked with Dad, uh, or Cassius, uh, before he went off. Oh, it's totally gonna be a misunderstanding. Aw, oh, come on now. Why are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? You know, we had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and... What I mean to say is, I've come to think about you as family in every sense of the word. Ah, uh, Estelle. So if there's anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I, I'm available to lend you an ear. You know, about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot? Uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, nothing. I just want to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to, that's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick, kick some monster butt. Sweat drops. What kind of nonsense is Teal putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Oh, if he has an idea. Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how will we? Sh how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. 
Why don't we start by checking around the house first, and then move to the fields, stable, and the greenhouses? Uh, we should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go! And by let's go, I mean let's go save, because... I'm gonna need that. Alright, uh, check around the house first. is here. Alright, let's keep moving. Or is there? No, nah, there's nothing here. Hey, crow. How you doing? Welcome to Trails in the Sky. I'm trying to hunt some monsters that have been raiding the vegetable fields. It's awfully quiet. All I can hear are the bugs chirping. It doesn't look like they've shown up just yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Excuse me. Hey, Joshua. Did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch? Cabbage patch kids? Now there's another question entirely out of the blue. And no, uh, I was told about, an angel, with, about or, an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanation for where babies come from varies, uh, depending on the region, huh? Oh. Uh, uh, how do we get back to work? Okay. So dance. School is actually comfy for once. That's nice to hear, Crow. Uh, greenhouses now, right? Huh. Should have figured bo monsters wouldn't bother coming in right here. Well, the orbits, uh. It, er, the glow of orbit sure give this place a nice romantic ambience. Makes it feel like it feels all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You're definitely a ditz, aren't you, Estelle? At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. It is pretty cool lighting. Hey, psst, look. Get him! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> It's getting away! Hey, get back here, you little furball. I can still sense his presence. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good. It's about to get caught. Oh, we're on the case. Who's goo? You're down here, aren't you? No, I got debated. Not here. Ah, that's too bad. I guess they noticed us trying to sneak up on it. I swear I'm gonna catch that bugger the next time I see it. Again, bring such a ball of trouble. What's with those speedy feet? Well, I admit that creature is a nimble one. I get the feeling that its instincts are much sharper than how fast it can run. Even so, it has an opening that we can take advantage of. An opening? We just have a habit of letting its dark guard down whenever it scampers off. If we can catch it off guard and sneak it, sneak up on it from behind, we may be lucky enough to bag it. Not a bad idea. We're so we close in on it from behind, and as it's running away, right? Let's give it a shot. So we're we're just gonna run for it the moment or Wait, is he gonna turn around? Ah you're still a little bit off. Right, you need to move on it from behind as it's scampering away. Uh, and then make a grab at it when you're close enough. I'll get it soon.
Yeah. Got him. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Hey, here's where our job really starts. Stay alert and don't let your guard down. Wait, you didn't tell me there's three of them? How'd I grab onto one if there's three? Oh, this thing's ranged, isn't it? Giant crop muncher, crop muncher. Uh, I'll S break that. That's some pretty neat music. Nope. Oh no. Oh, I mistimed that. Uh, I thought, all right, I have to do it right after I do my attack, not when its attack begins. Fuck. I wasted that. Heal myself. No, then I have time to. Actually, I don't want to risk it. I don't even want to know how much damage that thing can do. dead. He must be dead. Wait. Oh, wait a second. I, I see what they're doing. They're setting up for a counter, aren't they? Well, boy, I got something in store for you. Should be alright to use fire in the in the vegetable fields, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm that dumb enough to walk up on an animal playing dead. And it's also stunned for a round, which is pretty neat. So if it's stunned, does that mean does that mean I can move in on it? Oh wow, I, that does not do any damage. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's move out. So we're hearing Johnny on Bosch. Nice! So we just need to defeat more water element enemies if we want to level this up. Ah, oh, it's such an adorable squeak! You... My goodness, the work of a bracer is something else! Your kids, uh... Oh, oops, that's a brand song. Your kids have done a fine job of rounding up those critters. To hear is nothing, really. Why well, I ask you, though? Now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? Well... Eats back on the menu! <laughs> Uh, don't think they'll cause more trouble. Do we really have to exterminate them? I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Now that we've given these uh, critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. I still how they're gonna benefit anyone if they, we show these creatures mercy now. We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But, animal crew, we're here to do a job in dad's place. The same thing happens again, what do you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but... You know, there's only some vegetables that were damaged, so what do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, after taking a being like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. But, Tio, Miss, Mrs. Perzo, 
But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too, even though they've pretty much cut into our profits. <laughs> Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living things trying to survive on the same land. In the some degree, we need to be mindful about those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? <sighs> Understood. This came from the ones who suffered the actual loss, so I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know you two had come all the way up here. I, I'll make sure to reinforce the the the, 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 the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. And that's that. Now then, you critters, you better count your blessings. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, no, no, she was just waving in the air, never mind. <laughs> so if we catch you right here again, you won't be so lucky, now scram. Yeah! Well, I'll consider this a matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back in the house and hit the sack? Two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. And a job well done. Oh man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Uh, Joshua? What's wrong? Um, sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Uh, what are you- th are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it, I'm sure- I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this I really begin to loathe myself. It feels as if there's something wrong with me as a person. Huh. Maybe part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself. Uh, uh, Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years, and I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you, yourself. I won't allow you to just disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't want to ever hear you say you're broken ever again. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, then that's what really matters. But, do you, you know what? Just kiss already? But they're technically family, Skarlack. Even though, uh, they're not blood related, they're technically family. That's, I don't know. But you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear that, that she, hear you admit how, <clears throat> admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is always you try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. A little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Uh, Estelle, I... Joshua, you're always able to lay your... Lay bare up. Hey, Sarah, thank you for the host. I was, uh... Grief syndrome and all that. <laughs> God damn it, ice cream. You learn to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. Huh, I've got a whole lot more where that came from. But how about we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Alright then, have a good night, Estelle. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. We tight. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. No, please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything we can help you with in the future, please, let the Bracer Guild know. That's definitely the- that, that'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for a night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. 
Uh, thanks for the invitation to you, uh, Mr. Per Mrs. Perzel. I'll we'll definitely be back to take you up on the uh, take you up on that when our workload settles down. Thirty seconds delay. <laughs> Your stream is better than expected. I have a rusty runner. That's nice. Uh, house trays in the sky. Uh, it's pretty good so far. Uh, might have done a big no-no uh, to Froob when I kind of told him that I went to this game blind on hard mode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and earlier, <laughs> earlier, I opened up this chest that was just outside the west of town. I was like, oh, cool chest. And then I get the text, monsters appeared. I was like, oh, it's a surprise box. Okay. Uh, what's it gonna be? Out of my party of two, it was against seven monsters who only took 30 damage per physical hit. I'm like, what? Y you have 240 health. There are seven of you. Each of them takes about 30 damage. I'm like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> it was a noob trap. <laughs> the mimic chest? Yeah, fuck that chest. <laughs> Oh my, I, that came out. I was so glad I saved before I did that. Glad I fell for that one. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Froob. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so how will we head back to the guild? Uh, after we report this one, we can sign the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. How you doing, Froob? Alright, so where the hell is... Oops, I want to... Oh, wait! Wait! No, Joshua! I keep forgetting that battles initiate based on if anyone in your back gets... Oh my god. You can barely see them coming. God damn. Fuck that. I ain't starting to fight like that. Wait. Wait, can I go back? I need... I need a... Rest up again. Hello? Okay. You think I can rest up a bit in your house? Let's see. Uh, trying to overwork yourselves. Da da da. Go away. Oh, that's the wrong place. Can I just like get a free room to rest in here? Something? Yeah. Damn it. I want my free rest. <laughs> yeah, they know me. It's cool. It's fine. Hello, Tio. I want to thank you both. Next thing, come up here. Get in for free from work. Come on. I. They have like a free bed or anything? <laughs> Bully the chickens. Ah, uh, let me see. Well, I need an excuse to use up some of my things, anyways. Oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. How do I menu? Wait, can I not? Oh, do I have to do... I'm so not used to this. Oh, okay. So we learned the recipe. What's the recipe? So, gummy eyeball. Huh. Wholesome pasta. Alright, alright. Let, let's go... Okay, this again. There's that stupid monster again. Fuck you! <laughs> You can't sneak up on this thing. Um, okay, what do I do first? Hmm. I'm gonna take a hit from this one. Hope oh, the chickens are like in Legend of Zelda. Nah, nah, they're, they're cool. Uh, time doesn't do much, but... I just attack anyways? Now, how much damage do I even do? Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just channel it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't think I can heal in time. 
Alright, I guess I could. Since, uh, hold on. Okay, so this one's gonna attack and it'll probably bring him down to 20 health. Okay, so it should be up to full after he channels. Oh my god, that was so close. Got him. Alright, it's gonna take some time to whack away at this, so let's just burn it. Burn the bugs. Ow. No, it's not gonna die like that. Let's just use another craft. is like right over here. break ready. Gosh, it's probably gonna take a big hit. Or not. Oh my god, that knocks me so far back. How did you miss the plant? I even gave him... I even gave him the dexterity uh, orbment thing that gives him a better chance to hit. What do you mean that's... What? How do you still miss? There. <laughs> That's that thing. Let's move out. I saw this quest here. Oh, what, what, what are you? What? What are you? He has a halo. Oh shit! Wait. What's this music? Fuck! No! 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 We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> when the music changes, or when the music plays differently, you know to back the hell away. <laughs> and also the thing is, when I looked at it, it didn't have any... It had a... It was completely resistant to all elements, except for what I assume time and all that stuff. <laughs> okay. Charging, okay. Ah! Alright. Uh, got him. Actually, should I... I should do, uh... 
Double strike on this one. Go shower and stuff. Alright, Scarlock. See you in a bit. Water Scepter. I guess I'll look for the quest for this uh, pine plant later. Goddamn that mimic chest. <laughs> uh, I really need to convert some of my Scepter and uh, get some better gear. Before we do that, we. We need to take a rest in the sewers real quick. Wait, what? What are you doing here? Dude, the garden at the mayor's place is so well kept. I heard the mayor uh, even does it himself. The mayor Klaus was beating the clock tower earlier. Do mayors really have to do these kinds of jobs? That's his hobby. There even rumors that he really enjoys gardening too. Well, that's why he's called Old, uh, old Man Klaus. Well, aren't you glad that he's informal and accessible for everyone like that? Wait, I'll talk to- I'll talk to her. See, Mr. Claus just came by here. He- he greeted me with such a big voice. Well, I'm off to the sewers, kids. Bye-bye. Alright. Ah, what a refreshing night in the sewers. Time to report to the guild. Let's see, good morning. On the job of the farm go. Um, we had a few bumps on the road, but let me give you a brief report of the details. Uh, let's see, job complete. You got money. Woo, 1,000 muta. And 1 BP. Frank is still junior bracer. Oh, I see. So you ended up setting the monsters free because the Perzal family requested you to do so? I think it was premature on their part, but I won't uh, pursue the matter any further. Is it really okay to leave things like that? Well, the mission of uh, a brace is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it is your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, I work on some very profound implications if you think about it in that way. Yeah, that's because we aren't an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We also intervene when it when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Serious? The road to the big league sounds steeper than I originally thought. Huh, well, that then your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you details about your next job? Oh, those are the words I'm wanting to hear. Uh, I'm ready for anything, so what, so what you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good whipping? No, not this time. The, the next job, or this next job, will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Claus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? You think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Oh 